right you guys so i kind of want to go through this drawer this drawer this drawer to see if there's anything that i want to pull out my shop mustache now you guys know that this is basically the overflow of boxycharm products pr and boxycharm boxycharm type of ordeal you guys these drawers are so full to capacity i feel like i'm not getting through them fast enough <laughs> um so it's like what all do we really need but i can honestly say you guys y'all know i already got a lot of things in my drawers over there when it comes to like eyeshadows so i kind of don't want to pull out no more eyeshadow palettes okay we can use this gel eyeliner this gel eyeliner is the for color gel waterproof liner by mally and it's in onyx which is a black i got this in my most recent boxy charm so we could pull her out um trying to see if there's anything else that i would like to pull out i really too much don't need no more lip products unless i use the alexis alexis beauty alexius beauty clear lip gloss we could pull her out and for like oh we could try these mac lashes what style are they in oh they're in siren lash siren lash looks like that we could pull that out that's just a lash um this is a brow pencil in dark this is by rowan let's check this out oh yeah it looks like it's a brown yeah we could try that we could try that one what is this get lit this is a metallic foil liquid eyeshadow in pure gold Ooh, pretty do i want to use this though no because i have a liquid eyeshadow in there that i just have yet to use <laughs> um rare beauty translucent powder no so let's see what these two products are we have the ofra good to go palette so what is this Ooh, we can play with that and what is this beauty bakery breakfast in bed this is an eyeshadow palette no we're not gonna play with that that's more of a cool tone which i am gonna try it but i don't want to play with that just yet so that's basically it for that we have another drawer right here this don't even come out all the way we have another drawer right here that's full of products as well Ooh, how about the lorac cinnamon loose powder we could play with that one and you guys i may be overdoing it a little bit because i do have my project pan items as well as shop my stash items so i just may be overdoing it just a little bit but these are more so eyeshadow palettes that i haven't used yet and i don't want to pull out too many eyeshadow palettes and this is the new products drawer kind of think we're done right there so let's move on to like the foundations and stuff now when it comes down to this side you guys know i have foundation fridays and project pan foundations so i kind of don't want to pull nothing out because i do have two project pan foundations that i really want to be working on on top of the new foundations 
but I can't help but want to pull out a oldie but a goodie which is the Sephora foundation and this one is in the shade matte tan matte tan pecan so I kind of want to pull this out and use it as a alternative I really think I'm good on concealers and primers to be honest yeah i think i'm good on concealers and primers so i'm not going to put anything there setting powders i think i'm good highlighters i think i'm good setting spray bronzer for mascara i am going to pull out the superhero by it cosmetics and the lala fox touch up mascara just for backups all right you guys we're back at it with the shop mustache for january 2022 y'all have y'all missed this have y'all missed the shop mustaches and stuff because i absolutely miss it i missed it now y'all tell me what y'all think about this angle because i got it going on okay we're gonna jump up into the shop mustache and i'm gonna let you guys know what we're gonna be working with i think like I said in the beginning, I think I'm going to be doing my shop mustaches every other month only because I have some project pan items that I want to get through. If you haven't seen my project pan 2022, check in the cards as well as I got a lot of new makeup and makeup drawers from BoxyCharm and things that I've been purchasing myself that I feel like I need time to work through this yeah is some things i'm putting back but these are some things that i'm adding and there are some things that i never moved so all of these lashes right here on this side which you probably barely could see it is my lashes from amblavish.com if you guys would like to shop the blowout sale shop it now for the things that are left because everything is on sale some items may not come back we are rebranding but we don't know how long the rebrand is going to take if you would like i will put the the video me talking about the rebrand and everything up in the cards but all of my products you guys every single thing is on blowout sale I did decide to keep the Natasha Denona Peak Palette in here that I got in my BoxyCharm because I have yet to try it as well as my Wet n Wild 32 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. I bought this off of Poshmark and I have yet to use it so it's New Year Winter Everyday Colors that I feel that I can still work with. I have the Lorac palette the chocolate box that my twin purchased for me and i have yet to try it it has two sets of <clears throat> i'm sorry it has four sets of color combinations and a highlighter the highlighter is in the middle so yeah i do want to finally play with that i do have the kina however you say this kina o beauty it's a blush and shimmer palette i never got to really play with this a lot so i'm gonna keep that over here as well i got the sigma warm warm neutrals 2 volume 2 that sigma sent me a while back and i was absolutely in love with it so i felt like it was time to play with that again and of course, I pulled back out my Too Faced Just Peachy palette. It's the All Mattes palette. My God, I love it. And I haven't touched it in a while. So I was like, this would be the perfect time. The colors run just right for right now. For this type of season. You know what I mean? So I am going to add in this Ofra Good To Go. It's a mini mix palette that I got in my BoxyCharm. You guys seen me pick that out just a while ago. I think this would be fun. It has eyeshadows. It has a little bit of blush and highlight put to it. I think this would be fun. I also got my ABH Just Peach. No, Deep Peach Loose Setting Powder. I only play with this a little bit, but I'm 
really into it. I do have a few of my lip glosses over here in the corner, which is Glitter Bomb, Baby, no, Princess, Glitter Bomb, Princess, Naked, and Money Maker. You guys, if you want them, go shop them. I don't know if they're still left, but they're on sale. I do have two setting, powder, uh, setting sprays, Rimmel Stay Matte, Glam Glows Glow Setter, and none of my project pan none of my project pan stuff has made it over to the drawers yet because i need to actually label them but the project pan items will stay in the drawer until they're finished a stack of my highlighters the first batch i ever came out with press powder we have the l'oreal infallible fresh wear this is the newer one. This one is in copper. Fairly new to me. Actually like it, but I want to play with it some more. We have the L'Oreal Perfect Blush. And this one, this is that Age Perfect, Age Perfect line. And this blush is in Berry. I do have a highlighter from Gerard Cosmetic and Sophia. My twin gave me this. You guys could use my code for, I think it's 10 or 15% off in Gerard Cosmetics. I'm going to play around with that highlighter. The ABH Berry Adore Blush Trio. We're going to keep out. We do have this new NARS Taj Mahal blush that I got in the BoxyCharm that I want to play with. She looks like she may be a little too bright for the season right now, but I really want to try it and see. And then we have the Sephora Matte Bronzer in 06 Ibiza, however you say that. We do have another loose setting powder, which is the Fenty Pro Filter in Honey. You guys, I need to use this so that I can know what I'm feeling about that. I need to. The only moisturizer I have, I'm still going to use the Marc Jacobs Youth Youthquake Moisturizer. I actually been liking this. So, we're going to keep it. It's in my, it comes from my BoxyCharm. And I actually been liking it. So, we're going to keep that there. In this little container, we have a few little things. We have a setting powder, translucent setting powder from KBD. We have Fenty Beauty's setting powder pro filter in Nutmeg. We also have the single eyeshadow from MAC in Right. And we do have the Charlotte Tilbury powder in Deep Four. And she's just a cute little mini. So we're going to keep the minis over here. Liquid, a liquid eyeshadow, I think this is, from Kosas. It's a 10 second eyeshadow. That's what it says in Copper Halo. You guys, I got this in a boxy charm and I have yet to use it. And then I just have three bases from P. Louise, of course. We have rumor number seven. We have the acid rain from M -M -M Mitchell in nitro, which I may not even use this this month. Like it's almost a little too bright. And then we got rumor number six. I only want to keep and play with a few. I don't want to overwhelm myself. I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum. Okay, so moving on to like primers. We have three primers that we still have yet to try. We have the Ola Henderson primer, and this is the Banana Bright Face Primer with vitamin C and banana in it. We do have the Old Faithful, the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. I have to say that slow, which we're almost done with. And then we have another favorite by Peach and Lily. This is the Glass Skin Refining Serum. It's a 
translucent and luminous peach extracts and peptide we love we love we love now all four of these foundations are gonna be in foundation friday type of videos these would be friday videos because every last one of these are brand new that i have yet to use so we do have the kosas tinted face oil and this one is in 8.7 and i got this in a boxy charm of course got it in the boxy charm so i want to test that out we also have the creme shop cc cream this is a full coverage age defense moisturizing and it's in the shade deep 250 and i did haul this a long time ago i bought this with my own money at my cvs but you guys i wanted to see if this compares anywhere near to the elf cc cream because y'all know elf blew me away i do have the maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer this is for all skin types 76 percent natural origins ingredients with aloe in it and it's in the shade 360 and of course we finally found the oma beauty foundation this is the flawless in real life skin perfecting foundation and this one is in the shade brown sugar we have yet to open it or try it so we have to use it in a foundation friday now aside from my project pan foundations y'all seen that i brought this sephora foundation in just for backup all right you guys so we're gonna move on to this section right here have two lash strip adhesive glues which is black by lash couture that we're gonna finish up i do have the clear duo lash glue right here and we are gonna still play around with this nyx brow glue you guys i have been absolutely loving this i do have some liners and pencils um i do have the elf black liquid liner i am gonna keep that in there because i for some reason have ran out of the nyx liquid liner so i'm kind of screwed i have the abh brow whiz in ebony we will <clears throat> excuse me we will be working on that someone's on my site right now you guys as we speak let's see if we hear the famous infamous bell that it makes when someone's purchased um we have the stella brown liner which it is vivid smoky quartz we're going to use that for a waterline as well as the tart tardiest i don't know what this is double take eyeliner <clears throat> it has the pencil on one side the liquid liner on the other side which i actually been liking and the only mascara we got is the tart man eater mascara now when it comes down to the concealer and contour we do have the flower beauty illusion concealer in that we're going to continue to use i do have some project pan items concealers and stuff so you're only going to see basically this one as well as the black opal suede mocha foundation stick that i use for contour you guys we're still working on this this was a project pan from maybe two project pans ago and we're still working that out and we have yet to finish so moving on i do have a lip balm i have some lip liners i'm actually going to put all these lip liners back and what i'm just going to do is as i do my makeup looks i'll just pull from the lip liners that i know i haven't gave love to or tested out or anything like that because all lip liners that i have used go in a separate drawer versus the ones that i have yet to use so these will go back into the lip liner container where i haven't used it and this one will go in the used lip liners that's how i'm able to 
know which lip liners I have used and stuff like that. All right, so with the lip products, I do have this NARS. I think it's Laguna. The words are so small. It came in the last year's birthday gift from Sephora. I plan on trying this out. So I think I'm going to put it over here to the side in this little container for the minis. Right along with my Apple and Balmy lip balm. I'm going to put that over there. So for the lip products, I do have two lip products in the project pan that I will be adding over here. But I do have this Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick and Spice Girl. I do have the liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. This is So Noir Cool. I want to keep in there and try to use. I do have my NARS. What are these called again? Power Place? Power Matte Wild Night. It's a beautiful dampy purple i do have some gerard cosmetics liquid lipsticks i have boss lady mud slide as well as plum crazy so i want to keep all three of these and give those a whirl you guys can use my coupon code down below from gerard cosmetics save you some money off I do have the Morphe Live Glam liquid lipstick and want a spoon that I want to use. When it comes down to the lip glosses, I am adding Alexius Beauty Clear Lip Gloss. I'm adding one of my older lip glosses. It's the orange or strawberry. I do want to keep the Fortune Cookie by NYX Butter Gloss. I want to try out this Persona Honey Lip Gloss. I want to use the 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color by Laura Geller. And this one is in Beige Bite. I hope this is a lip gloss. Oh yeah, that's a lip gloss. So we're going to put that there. And then the Olimar Cosmetics and Mother of Pearl Gloss. Okay. Now, while I did go off camera, because my batteries had to charge, I went ahead and pulled out some lashes that I want to add. I pulled out a lot of lashes that are other small black owned businesses. I don't know if these lashes or the lash styles are still in stock or whatever the case may be. But if I can find them, I will link them all down below. So I do have a pair of mink lashes from the Lash Bando, and these are in the style NARC 10s. And they look like that. I also have the Lash Bando's um, Lash Style and Molly. Look like that. I have KDK Beauty lashes, and I don't think these have a name on it. They look like this. This was just a free pair of lashes I got from ordering with KDK Beauty. I have some of my favorite pair of lashes from one of my favorite companies, which is Elegancy Boutique. This is in the style Bella. If my coupon code still works for Elegancy Boutique, I will have it listed down below. Um, but here is the style Bella, super cute and full, as well as her style Tahiri. Look like that. Then I have my Watch Me Sparkle lashes. These are the Superior Lashes in Supreme. You can use my coupon code with Watch Me Sparkle. Now, by Red Beauty, I don't know if she still does lashes, but I will link her down below but i did get this style and it doesn't have a name but they look like this as well as blazing beauty these are the style queen i think i've worn these before it's the blazing blazing beauty collection i will be rocking these so there you have it you guys this is my January shop my stash like I said I may not do another shop my stash until 
March. But these are all the products, including my Project Pan items for 2022 that we will be working with on top of new products that we will be working with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Hashtag notification on point so that you will be featured in one of my next uploads as the top three comments of the video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Yeah.